Welcome to the Nicholas 11 X12 technology. Today I'd like to show you how well the AMD Radeon HD 7970GHz edition graphics card performs when overclocked to 1200MHz on the core and 1600MHz on the memory. As the name GHz edition already tells us, this card is already clocked to at least 1GHz, so 1000MHz. Remember, AMD has two different HD 7970s. There's the standard HD 7970 with a reference clock speed of 925 MHz and the HD 7970 GHz edition with a reference clock speed of 1000 MHz. But that GHz edition graphics card also comes with a boost clock of 1050 MHz on the core. Remember, the clock and boost speeds may differ from card to card because I'm right now comparing AMD's reference clock speeds. So long story short, AMD factory overclocked their standard HD7970 to 1 GHz or more and that's why it's called GHz edition. But now let's get back to the HD7970 GHz edition card that I overclocked. This is the Gigabyte Radeon HD 7970 GHz edition 3GB GDDR5 card. It comes with a really good cooler the Gigabyte Windforce cooler, featuring three fans. As you can see here, in GPU-Z, I'm using the latest Catalyst 13.1 driver at the time of this video. As for the clock and memory speeds, Gigabyte Factory overclocked this card already to 1100MHz on the core and 1500MHz on the memory. This overclock should be attainable for everyone with the stock HD7970 GHz edition card. But I took it even further and increased the core and memory clocks 100 MHz. And that are 1200 MHz and 1600 MHz. I didn't plan to overclock like crazy to push this card to the limits. No, what I wanted to do is overclock wisely. Something that's attainable for everyone with this Gigabyte graphics card. Because keep in mind, Gigabyte themselves have already factory overclocked this card. So 1200MHz and 1600MHz shouldn't be a problem to achieve. Please be careful when overclocking graphics cards. Always make sure to monitor the temperatures on full load. In my case the fan speeds are at 50%. But now let's finally get to the benchmarks.
So there you go, you saw yourself, you get a decent boost in performance when overclocking this card. Of course, these are no mind-blowing results, but there are performance increases noticeable in every application and game. Sometimes more, sometimes less. But now you see, you actually can squeeze even more out of your HD 7970 GHz edition graphics card. I'm sure you could even overclock further than I did, but be careful, don't overclock too high and keep monitoring the temperature at 100% GPU load. Again, I left the fan speeds at 50%, this is the default setting for this Gigabyte graphics card, and the temperatures on the load only increased by 7 degrees Celsius. If you'd lowered your fan speeds to 40% instead of 50, you'd get into the 80 degrees Celsius range or even higher. The power consumption didn't really increase much, but still, it was noticeable. On idle it stood pretty much the same, but in load, when the card is overclocked, it consumes 17 watts more than on Gigabyte's default clock speeds. In the end, it's your decision whether you overclock the HD 7970GHz edition graphics card even further or not. In most cases, the performance is more than enough, but some of us enthusiasts never can get enough performance, right? And this is it, I really hope this quick video could help you out. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11xsolvetechx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.